today we will discuss about the complete program of awt and uh, and as we know the different component uh, following are the different component label button uh, button also check box choice button list box scroll bar text field text area and check box as well as check box group and many more other uh, component of uh, which are related to the java awt and these uh, component are also described in this way in this hierarchy also and the difference between java awt and java we also discussed in the previous class so today we will discuss about the complete program how the component hierarchy of uh, java awt and java c so before starting the complete program we have to understand this class hierarchy component hierarchy of java awt and uh, this is these are the component as well as, as, well as uh, the class also so button canvas check box choice label list scroll bar so there are many more components also in the list of this component hierarchy and text component is divided into text area and text field as well as we have been container and inside the container we can uh, we can contain and we can store multiple components so you can see here the relational diagram of uh, all these components as well as this container so container uh, the combination of different components uh, are uh, the container and uh, we can include the container inside the panel and Uh, panel is a part of java dot app dot app dot class and same way the file dialog having dialog and frame and dialog also also be uh, in window sub class so these are the um, base classes and this way we have container so this is the component hierarchy model of java awt so uh, you can see here Uh, the another diagram. This is the swing diagram. In Java swing, we have been uh, we have been all the elements same as uh, in Java AWT. Button, canvas, check box, choice, label, list, scroll bar. All component are also be used in Java swing. But uh, J is appended here. J is uh, prefixed here. So J uh, button, J label. In, instead of label. Uh, we are writing java swing j label j combo box j check box j list j scroll bar and j uh, com j text component and in charge j text component we have j text field and j text area and here uh, the frame uh, frame and dialog are two parts of this window in charge window we can display frame we can display dialog And inside the frame, we have been J frame and J dialog. So in Java, we will have been, we will have J frame. Instead of frame, we have J frame. And window also J window. In, in case of window, we will have J window uh, as well as J panel and J applet. Uh, if we are using the applet, then we will have J panel and inside J panel we have J applet. However, in case of this. Uh, applet we have been container and inside the container we have panel and window and inside window we have frame or dialog or and inside dialog we have file dialog so this is the hierarchy of the java awt and this is the hierarchy of java swing so uh, there is a difference between this uh, java swing and java awt java swing is advanced than java uh, awt and uh, the component of java swing are lightweight but we cannot mix the component of java swing as well as java uh, awt separately they will be used either we will use java swing or java awt they they will they will not intermix and these are the different primitive classes primitive component button label check box scroll bar they all are primitive you can see again here button can was check out they all are these component all the component are the primitive component 
so primitive here category is primitive category and container are the panel frame right of are the container uh, you can see here uh, panel window frame dialog panel dialog frame they are the container uh, and layout manager we will discuss on next classes uh, we have been flow layout border layout grid layout grid by layout we have been, been different layout so uh, we will place the component according to these layout so this will be discussed in the next classes and we will also uh, perform event handling on uh, our AWT form or JavaScript form uh, and graphics will also be used color font graphics uh, we have already discussed color about color font and graphics and geometric shape different from geometric shape also be discussed point rectangle dimension we can draw these type of the geometric shapes as well as images audio file video file we can include all these um, files in java uh, applet as well as in java AWT. So uh, some of them discussed in the previous classes and um, uh, some of the uh, points like layout manager, container, event and we will discuss in the next classes. So this is the GUI model of this Java AWT and previous class we have discussed about this. Suppose uh, we have built this program, we have three level L1, L2 and L3. So we have to attach all three level on the applet. So we'll write here program public class label in the name of class is label and it is extended from applet class. So before starting the applet, we have to import java.iwt and java.applet.star. And inside this we will write init function. So first of all, we'll define the object of uh, label L1, L2 and L3. L1 equals to new label 1 and L2 equals to new label 2 and L3 equals to new label See, add L1, add L2, and add L3. So all the labels will be added by these commands. Add L1, add L2, and add L3. So now see, uh, the, uh, this is the difference, and see that this program, uh, this is the complete program, and, and in this program we have these label as well as label, the text box. So you can see here, uh, same as the previous program, we have to write import Java dot awt import java.applet.star and then public class text field extend applet public void init and we have been labeled l1 l2 l3 and l4 so l1 equals to new label name l2 equals to new label address l3 equals to new label age and l4 equals to new label phone number phone number suppose we are uh, we are retrieving all these values suppose we are designing a uh, admission form and where we are collecting all the data name address age and phone number of each student so uh, so we have been four labels so we'll add all four labels so you can see here add l1 add l2 add l3 add l4 so in front of uh, label we have to add the text field uh, so we have been four label l1 to l4 so accordingly we have to define here four text box also. So text field, text, text field. So text field T1, T2, T3, T4. So accordingly we have been uh, L1, L2, L3 and L4. So um, these are the corresponding text, box, uh, text field of these label. So we have been mentioned here the name uh, T1 equals to new text field. Basically this name uh, T1 is used, T1 is for label um, name. So its width is its number of characters will uh, store in it. I Means mm, the size will define the text field. T1 text field uh, is 10. This is for name and address. Uh, the size of address is 13 because the second one T2 equals to new text field 30. So its size is 30. T3 equals to new text field 20. Its size for age its size is 20 and then you know, fourth is for phone number so we have defined as t4 equals to new text field 10 then we will write in the pair of uh, label and text box we will add pair of label and text box so add l1 add t1 so accordingly we will write here add l1 add t1 add l2 add t2 you can see here add 
l1 at t1 add l2 at t2 add l3 at t3 add l4 at t4 so one to one method, one to one correspondence is there so with label we are uh, adding the text field so this is the program this is the complete program and uh, when this program will, uh, will be executed then it will display both label and text boxes so now um, this is the another program uh, where we have this class So this is another program where in this program we have uh, we are using uh, same so uh, in this class we are not importing applet import java.awt.star only uh, we are importing awt package and then we have been class button example extend frame so with help of the frame class with help of uh, frame container uh, means uh, the a property component will be fixed inside the frame container so you can see here in the previous program we have been extended it to applet so here we are using applet and in this program we are using frame so we are storing the element on applet as well as frame so you see in this program we have been frame as well as dialog file dialog so inside the window, the container is the window, and uh, this window container having frame as well as dialog. So uh, also uh, applet, applet is also there. Uh, same way in this string component, we have been uh, component inside the component we have applet, and as well as we have been frame also frame and dialog. So uh, in this program, in this previous program, in first program, we are using text field, and this text field, public class text field, is extended from the applet, and that's why we have written here import java dot applet dot star. And while in this program, uh, we are extending it to frame. So class button example extend from frame. We are not writing here applet because uh, we are not displaying the component inside the applet we are displaying the uh, element inside the frame so we have been these two options either we will display the element on frame or applet so uh, so this is the main public static void main so in case of frame we will write here public static void main string address while in case of applet we will write here public void init or public void print so we have been used here init we have not used paint function but we can use paint also so in this case we are not using any init or paint function we are using public static void main and inside the main we uh, we, uh, we are defining the object of the frame f and panel p inside the frame will display the panel and inside the panel will uh, put these three buttons so uh, f equals to new frame f is the object of frame and f equals to new frame and button example is its uh, title so in the title of the frame it will, uh, it will display button example and the size of frame is 500 by 500 500 width to 500 height and the background color of the frame will be red and set visible will be true so by this command it will display the um, uh, component inside the frame and now we are uh, having one panel p equals to new panel so inside the frame we have been panel we can uh, define define or we can display different panels inside the frame so p equals to new panel and b1 equals to new button new button and b2 equals to new button reset and b3 equals to new button stop so we have been three button their caption is new reset and stop and uh, we'll include all these three buttons inside the panel so we'll write here um, p dot add b1 p dot add b2 and p dot add b3 so b1 b2 and b3 all three buttons are added on p p is the panel and this p panel will be added on the frame so f is the object of the frame and its title is this its size is this and its background is red and 
set b is equal to equal to two. So f dot add p. So inside the frame we, we are adding uh, panel, and inside the panel we are adding three buttons. So this will uh, display three buttons on uh, on the panel, and this panel will be displayed inside the frame, and finally we'll having the frame. So program display three different buttons on um, on the frame. Uh, so this is one of the program and uh, same way we have another program in this program we have been check boxes we have defined here again we have written here java dot aw dot star so there is no need of java dot applet dot star uh, however we have written here java dot applet dot star but it's no uh, use and no requirement uh, only uh, java dot awt is sufficient here so we have been uh, class checkbox, extend frame, and public static void main string ARPS. So we are not writing here INIT because it is extended from frame. If it is extended from applet, then we will write here public void INIT or public void frame. So it will be public void, public static void main, and string ARPS. And F is the object of frame, and F equals to new frame checkbox. So its title is checkbox, uh, checkbox. And the background of uh, frame is red and uh, size of set size of frame uh, size of frame is 100 by 100 and f dot set visible equals to 2 uh, frame uh, the, uh, by this command it, the frame will be visible and we have been two object of checkbox c1 and c2 checkbox c1 checkbox c2 equals to new checkbox no new checkbox yes and um, we are adding we are adding Mm, checkbox new checkbox no uh, by this command f dot at c1 f dot at c2 and, and this checkbox uh, we, we are redefining this checkbox c1 and this is c2 and um, c1 is no and c2 this is c2 equals to no uh, equals to no is the caption of checkbox and CB checkbox group. This is the checkbox group. Means it will come inside the checkbox group. So in case of checkbox group, we will have uh, this will be checkbox group. So uh, means C1 and C2 both will be displayed inside the CB. CB is the checkbox group. If we define the checkbox group, then we can uh, select only one checkbox. If first checkbox is selected, then second one will be deselected. But in case of uh, only checkbox, we can select both C1 and C2. So C1 equals to new check checkbox no, and it's, it is inside the CB checkbox group, and by default uh, it is true. No will be true, and it will be false. In case when we are suppose we are keeping here true and it here all then in that case it will be checked and by default it will be checked and it will be unchecked so finally we are adding here f dot at c1 and f dot at c2 so this is inside checkbox group in case of checkbox group we can select only one checkbox otherwise we can select um, all the checkboxes suppose we have three or four checkbox then we can select all the checkbox so, but in case of checkbox group, we will select only one checkbox. So, thank you guys. Thank you very much.